Hey, this is Friar Tad, and I got a little job to do. Uh, there's a shower um, and a towel hanger that was pulled out of the wall by my kids. I'm sure that's never happened to anyone. Anyway, it's pretty simple to fix. Uh, what we're going to use, um, and uh, this screw is just weak in here, and it needs something else to help it stay in there. All we're going to use is an extra piece of paper flathead, Phillips screwdriver, and something like a little drill bit um, to help you um, push it in a little bit. All right, first off, we're just gonna go ahead and take what's in here out of the wall since it's already pretty loose. And most of these hangers have some way of detaching from the wall mount. In this case, it looks like a little uh, tab that you can push in either with a flat head or, um, or a different screwdriver that will allow us to detach it from the rest of the, the mounting plate. So let's try flat head Phillips. There we go. I felt the tab pop in a little bit. Yeah, it's still a little bit difficult to get in. Might try and go back to the flathead. You can see the tab right there. I'm just trying to get it far enough in so that we can go ahead and pull this out. There we go, just like that. So you see here's your mounting bracket with your screw. There's a washer on it. And so now all we need to do is make it so the screw has something more to grab onto when we put it back into the wall. So right now it came out because the kids have been pulling on it and it needs a little extra something to keep it from being pulled out again. So here it come, comes apart with the paper and what we're going to do is actually just take eh, maybe a little bit about the that length, about an inch, and just tear it down a little bit. If we have a little strip, and then we're going to roll this pretty tightly. Let's see, we got a bigger screw, so actually, I think I'm going to grab a little bit more. I'm going to grab a little bit more. And just gonna roll this together. Like that. So now we're gonna just push this right into the hole as best we can. And actually it might be a little bit shorter. Yeah, so maybe about a half inch. Try and tear this and a half, so you don't need all of it. Stick this in there. I'm gonna use that little drill bit I had to help push it in. There we go. So now, we have something more for our screw to latch onto. So also just take notice that, again, the bottom side of the mounting bracket it's facing downwards. So when you stick it back on, you don't want to screw it on sideways or, well, I guess this one you can easily rotate well enough. Um, but you want the bottom side of your mount, um, your ha hanging part, you know, facing the right direction. So you want this facing down. Right, so now I just need a regular screwdriver. And Start drilling, uh, not drilling, screwing. Probably easier with electric screwdriver. But since we already got a hole drilled, you can easily, and you can pull it on this really strong. Oh, it's, it's not gonna come out at all. So, 
again, make sure your bracket's facing the right way. And we're going to keep this going. And there we go. Oh man, that's on there. Good. All right. Okay, that's pretty straight. And so now we're gonna stick this on the shower curtain rod and just push it back on there. Voila. A little bit of give from, but that's not in there pretty good. There we go. And that's it. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe and like it. And thanks for watching.